Hey gems, how's it going? I hope all is well. We're gonna go ahead and hop into your reading to see what's going on in the connection right now with you and your person. And then find out a little bit about what happens next, what I get happening next in the connection. This can resonate romantically, platonically, familial, okay? Work-wise, it just depends how it resonates, okay? And uh, please like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if I do resonate with you as a reader, or if maybe you just like the reading. All right. All right, guys, Gemini, let's see what's going on here. Gemini, universe or spirit, thank you for the clarity. They have a card for what's going on with Gemini and their person. They have a card, please, for what's going on with Gemini and their person that they're watching this for. So you have caution. I feel like I'm about to sneeze, y'all, by the way. Excuse me. You have caution and challenges. Okay. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. All right. Okay. I feel like you're the one being cautious, Gemini. Um, I mean, this could be both of you, you and whoever this is in the connection with you. Um, usually challenges comes up where I, I kind of get like you're a little torn right now. You're a little torn between being cautious not overworking yourself and versus pushing yourself to do something here, okay? All right. Can you please uh, show me what else is happening here with Gemini and who they're connecting with, please? What else is happening here? Okay. You have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Okay. I feel like this is your person, whoever this is. Paradise came up in reverse. So whoever this is with, there's a there's a there's instability here in this connection. Okay, things are not stable right now. Um, you may be trying to almost pull this person back towards you, Gemini. Okay, you see how this person's kind of pulling? It's like you're trying to pull who this is, who the snake energy is towards you. It's gonna be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, for some reason, but then you have caution. And that makes sense because, you know, with this fire on this card, it's like, do I pull that person back towards me or am I going to get burned again? Do I try to heal uh, that connection? Um, or like it says, do I find out more information here before I try to do that? Okay. Okay. 
I'm just looking at the wording on this card. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah, I just get a very torn feeling from you. It's like, ah, oh, I don't want to get burned, but... Like, let me, let me talk to you here. Somebody could be running away, Gemini, because they're sensing like there is competition here in the connection with you. Mm, I'm also getting a very possessive energy with the snake energy. Like this person's very possessive over you. Like one of you works in like the medical field or I'm getting that. Excuse me. One of you works in the medical field. I'm getting a lot of messages. Show me Gemini in this connection right now, please. Show me Gemini in this connection right now. Show me Gemini in this connection right now. The fire ant. This usually comes up when someone is <clears throat> very sensitive, okay? And that could be why, you know, you're coming up with caution, maybe, you know? I don't know, you're trying not to do too much, you're trying not to say too much, but something here is bothering you, okay? It's like a, it looks like the top of a volcano, like a, like a volcano is about to erupt. All right. Maybe you feel like this person is running away from the issue. Yeah, like you're trying to calm yourself down. sneeze y'all show me how this person's coming up with Gemini right now the spider Leo got this look Cobra there's a snake energy both fire so yeah I do get fire energy Aries Leo Sag for who this is but I don't know like they're they're in this place where they're, you know, they're all, they also have like this level of anxiety with this gazelle energy, but they're waiting to do something. They're waiting to strike. <sighs> I feel like this person's making you nervous right now. This is a Virgo energy for me, but it can be Capricorn and Taurus too. You're trying to, I don't know. I don't know that you're trying to pretend, but you're very sensitive and you don't want to let on that something is really bothering you, Gemini. And then, you know, with this person, um, I don't know. I see some of you telling this person too, to like calm down too, or something. Okay. 
I'll look at a couple key phrases real quick. So you're coming up like the ant right now, okay? Aggression, rigid thinking, following orders. Um, fire ants are surprisingly sensitive. Don't pretend the heat isn't getting to you. Um, yeah, there could be some arguing, like I said. Argues, excess heat, gossips. Um, gossiping, gossiping and blaming are a few indicators that misaligned fire ant energy is at play. You may also find yourself stewing on a person or a situation, only making things worse. But remember, I do feel though, with caution, like I said in the beginning, like I think you're trying to be cautious, okay? Because it says fire ant energy flares up without us noticing. It's a force that attracts us to people and situations that feed our imbalances rather than those that counter them. Boom. Remember I said, I feel like you were torn. It's like, you're like pulling this person back in, but you're like, I don't know if I want to get burned. getting word vomit with this person you like you have word vomit with who this is I don't think you like it though you may say some things and then you turn around and you're like I didn't want to say that I'm looking for the spider it's like you and this person both bring out the fire in each other What I got in um, in Leo's reading too, this is specifically for those of you that may have Leo in your chart. It's like this person's almost like spinning something their own way, spinning their own version of something. Okay, with the spider. Um, <clears throat> so it does say discouraged, tired, forlorn. Um, I also get magician energy with this. So they're they're in also. A creative place. Almost like they've created their own story here. Hard at work. Um, neither tires or becomes impatient. Process oriented, like your person is trusting the process of things too. <laughs> Creator of prosperity. I do think this, like this person's almost trying to be productive. All right. The cherry just came out. Hold on. Clarify uh, this fire ant energy for Gemini. You have the Two of Pentacles, Gemini. Knight of Wands with the Devil. Yeah, like you're going back and forth here. You don't know what's best for you with who this is. Still like trying to weigh things out. It's almost like you want to, you're like buying more time to make some sort of decision with who this is, okay?
Okay. This person has a four of wands. I'm getting strongly and you know, this could be backwards Gemini, but this person feels as though you do have some choice to make because there's also the three of swords with the nine of pentacles. I think you really do want to decide what's best for you here, but whoever this is, Gemini, you're like, hold on, I need some more time to figure some things out. This Four of Wands is a marriage card for whoever this is. So I do get the, the vibe like, this person doesn't feel a level of stability right now. They would prefer to feel some stability with you, Gemini. Um, but because they're not, because they're not getting that, they're also prepared, you know, to accept that maybe they just need to move forward, but they're, but they're upset about it. I get that with the snake. They're upset about it. I think for a lot of you, like this person would prefer to, I mean, again, this is a marriage card. This person would prefer to, you know, be together, live together, have to have a stable life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if it's romantic. Mm -hmm. But for some reason right now, see, I feel like you two are going through some sort of break period. Like they're going to heal because they're mad about something right now. But I don't think this person wants to be permanently separated from you. Um, for you, Gemini, you're like weighing out, like, what do I do here? Do I pull them back in? Do I wait? You know, because I saw justice. Do I pull them back in? Do I wait? What's the right thing to do here? So you're feeling very challenged. Um, I'm getting right there. All right. Yeah, six of cups. I think both of you want to make this right right now. It's just, again, at the very center of it, it's make a decision. Work on inner healing. There is some healing that needs to happen here. All right. I hope that makes sense. All right, so please like, leave a comment, subscribe. We're going to get a card for what happens next here in this connection, Gemini. Can I have a card here for what happens next in this connection with Gemini and who I'm picking up with? Picking, picking up on? Picking up on who, what happens with Gemini and who this is? So you have divorce. Remember I said you all could be going through a breakup right now. Um, it looks like, you know, what I'm getting is there's still some, you know, whenever I see those messages, there's still some heartbreaking messages being exchanged. Both of you, one of you are getting messages that you don't like, you don't want to hear, but it looks like both of you are getting messages that you just don't want to hear. Okay. 
So that's what I'm getting right now for what's coming up next, okay? So I'm gonna clarify all this, tell you more about what I see here um, in this connection, you know, happening, what I see happening here. Um, more about your person, okay? How they're seeing things, how they want things to go. We're gonna pull the outcome that I'm getting for you two at this point overall. Um, and definitely gonna pull your advice, Gemini, on um, what I pick up being the, you know, the best way to get the results that you want, all right? And the connection, so um, I'll see. So that part of the reading is on Vimeo. If you feel like that's going to be beneficial, please click the links below now. In the description, top of the comments, I'll see some of you over there. Gemini's, if this is where we part ways, I hope the message has given you some level of clarity here. I love you guys. Be safe, take it easy, and I'll see you soon. Peace.